So just a couple of weeks ago at BlizzCon, two heroes were announced for Heroes of the Storm. Now don't get me wrong, I most definitely was looking forward to finally playing Varian Rin in the game, but I was very excited when they initially showed Ragnaros, and as of a couple of hours ago, he is finally available on the PTR. So here we are on the Towers of Doom. Now, here's the thing that I've always been wondering about, okay, when it comes to introducing raid bosses in, you know, Heroes of the Storm that are very known for their World of Warcraft appearance. Because one of the main characteristics of, like, um, these bosses, I suppose, is their size. And Ragnaros is one of them. Ragnaros is extreme- oh my god, they've, they've made a rework of a lot of heroes. Ragnaros is very, very characteristic on his size alone already. He's absolutely humongous. And I always wondered how they were planning on making him a viable choice in something like Heroes of the Storm. So the way they've done it, and I've played a couple of matches with him so far, the way they've done it is by using a trait called Molten Core. And Molten Core is very interesting. It will come into this uh, into this game as well. It's very, very cool to see. I'm going to try my very best to uh, show you some proper gameplay. Obviously, this is the, you know, the first couple of hours of the hero being available. So I may very well end up uh, dying a little bit more often than I would like to. And I wouldn't be surprised if that is going to be the case. Also, considering one of my allies is actually a bot. Like Ragnarush right here is actually a bolt, which doesn't help. Um, and the one thing that's also important to keep in mind is that I'm a melee assassin. Like, I, I would have considered him a specialist, more so than a uh, melee assassin. So the first altars will be activating very, very soon. But real quick, the abilities that I have. So first and foremost, that I got a Q ability. I can activate this to have my next basic attack be an auto-cast. It's basically going to be an insta-cast immediately as soon as I, you know, hit anyone or get in close proximity to anyone. It will deal area of effect damage. I'm gonna add a bit the uh, slow burn right here. It will do area of effect damage. But more importantly, on top of that, it will also um, heal up Ragnaros. So what happens is that in many instances, I can activate it um, all the time, and I will be activating it as often as possible, because I will heal myself up for 20% of my life, and double if I hit any enemy heroes with it. Which obviously, for obvious reasons, is extremely good. I will basically be activating that all the time. W ability is sort of like a, a two-stage kind of attack, and it's actually a big fight going on right now in the bottom lane. I guess we are just laning, though. Really want to make sure that we get that, you know, maximum, maximum output, I suppose. Uh, my W ability is sort of like a, a two-stage type of attack. So the way it works is, first and foremost, I activate it once to get a little bit of vision range. And actually, I gotta be careful here about my positioning. I'll hit him just to get some additional healing. So basically what happens is I can drag in a line where I want it to go. And it's sort of like a ball that starts rolling, and it can actually chase enemy heroes down as well. It's very cool. My E ability will give people additional movement speed. I can also cast it on myself, and after a couple of seconds it explodes to be a little bit more powerful. So some, one thing I could do, for example, is roll just like that to check whether or not there was anyone in that bush. Turns out that there was no one, at the very least for the time being. So once again, right, I'm just going to cast it, cast it as often as possible. I'm playing with a bot, though. This is not the easiest thing to do. I'm trying to keep my life here to the best of my abilities. Not sure if it's gonna work. And sadly, he does indeed end up falling. I may end up taking a lot of damage as well. They're actually gonna be pushing in quite aggressively with this many heroes nearby. Which is fine for me, because that means I can finally show off my Molten Core, which is awesome. It's really cool. I think this is one of those heroes, though, that becomes more powerful the more experience you are with them. And obviously, that is something you will see for pretty much every single one of them. But it's in particular true for him, because there's quite a lot of practice that will come into play here. So here's here's what happens when I sit in the core. Look at that. I now am basically a raid boss. I'm sitting right here, and all of my abilities are changed up, but I got a ton of radi radius on everything. It's insane. So my W ability now will instead, you know, throw around these, like, orbs, I suppose. I got a rune that I can put on the ground to do a lot of damage, and we actually ended up doing a ton there. Uh, hero damage is actually the top on this match so far, which is pretty insane. I'll try and let Ragnaros go for free, I suppose, for just a little bit, although it's hard to say how good he's going to be in that regard. I'm going to try and take him with me. Alright. I'm coming in right now. This is kind of scary, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sir Clockwood. Sir Clockwood, I'll try and give you movement speed. Turns out it doesn't really matter, though. Bottom line has already been taken so far, which is good. But we have to be very careful about our positioning. Now, we do have a Cho'Gal. I'm actually queuing up with Cho'Gal. And they're stuck. <laughs> they're stuck. No! Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the... 
Hand of Ragnaros here will give me some more Q abilities, which will hopefully give me a little bit more sustain. But it's so cool, though. I love the things you can do right now with Ragnaros, and I'm actually in a really careful... Oh, I'm in a very powerful position. They've made a rework on, on Diablo as well as on Artanas. Artanas, for example, right now can dash forward, then use his E ability, so he can, you know, get a lot more range on that, on that skill. Um, and it's honestly very terrifying. It takes a lot more time to start playing against the Artanas right now. Uh, basically, um, full-on reworks on those heroes. So, sadly, I do end up falling there. Now, the cool thing, though, um, that's... Oh, man. They were just hanging out there. Did you see that? That was strange. But anyway, the cool thing is that it sort of feels like playing Thrall. Now, when Thrall originally came out into the game, I actually played him a ton. A beautiful engagement there. Hopefully will give us something out of this. Not for now. Not for right now. They're already at level 10. Which is not good. Oh, there we go. Got him. Uh, but I play Thrall a lot when he initially came out. And this hero sort of feels the same when you're playing him in a way. Um, it feels similar in a sense that you have to stay in combat if you want to sustain yourself. And the abilities sort of feel similar as well, I guess, in, in kind of a way. Maybe I'm the only one, though, that's getting that feeling. So far, they are definitely at a nice little lead here. Don't want to... Nice one. Um, I don't want to, you know, take any unnecessary amounts of damage here. But we do want to make sure that we get to level 10 here shortly. Um, we'll pick up the Lava Wave here. Lava Wave is amazing. Probably inferior on this map. I probably should have gone with the Silvaris Smash. But Lava Wave is really cool. I'll show you what it does in just a little bit if you get a good engagement going. We can we can get it to work really nicely once there's like a big push. Well, this is a very strange engagement now. I'm basically called all the way out. I did just end up using my ulti. I was hoping that we were going to get some value out of it. So basically what happens, a wave goes in between our cores. And it will start dealing a ton of damage. From core to core, basically. Killing all the minions along the way. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. They managed to get the hit in. They managed to kill Cho'Gol, who I desperately tried keeping alive. Uh, with that Pyroblast there. Lots of damage coming out of the Prince that they just killed earlier. That we were talking about was overextending. And so far, they didn't really do a whole lot there. But anyway, um, my ultimate ability goes basically from our core to their core. And all of the minions caught along the way will deal, um, well, you know, basically get one shot. And all of the heroes caught in that direction will also take a ton of damage. Now, the funny thing is that it's relatively easy to spot, and it did just actually end up taking the boss, which is unfortunate for us. It's relatively easy to see it coming in. But for some reason, it's very difficult to dodge as well. Like there, for example, you see Darius coming in, right? And our Diablo just walked into it. Now, our Diablo is a bot, so I guess it's realistic enough in that regard. But the scary thing about it is that if you get caught in it and you don't see it in time, it's very, very difficult to get anything out of it because it deals so freaking much damage. I've had some games before this one that I sadly didn't record. Sadly, I'm not going to be able to show you, I suppose. Um, oh, come on. Overpower? No overpower. That's a shame. Um, but um, you get some insane damage out of it, in particular in lanes where there's actually pushing going on in the middle of it. Uh, obviously, the Silvaris Smash is another ulti that I can choose if I wanna. I'll go ahead and use my ulti here once again. So notice on the minimap, a wave will come rolling in. And it will indeed hit their Ragnaros for sure. Look at that damage! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! He could have spotted that on the minimap with ease, right? But it's so scary. It's so scary because it deals so much damage. And if, you, if you're not paying attention to the minimap, right? Just to see a little flame. You can only see it for like a split second exactly where it's located. It's very difficult to get any value out of it. Now, I'll go ahead and pick up Cauterize Wounds. Should be able to... Should be able to take out their... Uh, I think, right? Well, now I most definitely can. Good job. <laughs> Got the bro fist. They did just manage to grab the top one, though, which is a little bit disappointing. The range, by the way, on my Molten Core is, is quite significant. I can't use it a lot, but... Okay, get him. Okay. I'm trying to body block him here. Managed to look 
managed to do that quite nicely as well. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and grab myself some healing here if I can. Maybe on this map, Ragnaros is just not that amazing. I mean, the objectives are not in lane, and they're... You know, taking over the Molten Core, I suppose, is pretty rough as well. I can do it, by the way, on Broken Keeps as well. So, like, on Broken Keeps just as well as on, like, you know, ones that are already alive. I can also take the enemy ones after they get destroyed, which is pretty cool. Well, he's gonna be able to hopefully stay alive. <laughs> He tried dashing out of the level to see if it would give him any extra sustain. Not quite. If we could grab that, it would be nice. I don't think there's anyone over here, right? Okay, we can get some extra healing here, I suppose. Okay. <clears throat> we should really need to try and just simply grab the bottom one, I think. Oh. I'm in a really scary position, and I do indeed end up falling. Cho'Gal also caught with his pants down, will also end up dying, and basically the entire team is right now dead. Except for Diablo, our beautiful bot that we had since level 1. Pretty painful though, ugh! Obviously this is the PTR, right? So there's very little precautions, I suppose, if you, if you leave a game early, or you disconnect early, or whatever, and you don't come back. There's very little you can... You know, you need to do at that point in time, just because, I mean, <laughs> you, you, you know, you may get timed out for a little bit out of games, but it's, it's not going to cost you on your main account. It's not going to carry over to the main server. Well, we lost the, uh, we lost the tower, we got another one back. So far, though, damage output looking pretty solid. I think we can go a little higher than that, though. If we can get some good, uh, good waves coming in, that would be huge. Okay, using my wave right now in this lane. Oh no, oh no, don't die, Loco. There's the damage, though. We can also use this for zoning. They get another kill there because of it. Okay. Um, we'll go with the, the giant there to deal some extra damage, but more importantly, get some extra sustain out of that because I get damage or I get healed based around the damage that I deal. Alright, trying to give him some extra movement speed here. Okay, good. Oh no. Oh no! <gasps> I did it myself now as well! <laughs> this is what I'm talking about though. It's so difficult to spot. It's very tricky to spot it coming in, I suppose. Right? You know what I mean? Like, you know that it's coming and you know that there's the potential for it. But you actually spotting it is it's a completely different story. And sadly, once again... Ah, man, he gets the kill there eventually, but sadly, once again, the... Yeah, the Diablo bot is just not paying off here. Makes it really rough. He is alive, I suppose, so he's gonna be able to get back into the combat rather quickly, but... No, please, please. Please stop, like, running around like a headless chicken. Okay, I'll try and get through the middle here. Okay, nice kill there. Diablo once again gonna end up falling. Surprise, surprise. Now get out. That extra movement speed, though, is really cool. Makes for a pretty powerful push. I'm gonna see if I can head to the bottom lane. I need to not forget about my Molten Core, though. It's one of those abilities that you... I don't know. For some reason, I keep forgetting about that it's even an option. If you know what I mean? Like, you play the game a lot. And it's never been one of those mechanics that's been in the game, right? So it makes for a pretty scary position. I don't think I can take over right now. No, I can't. It would be pretty insane. The nice thing about the Molten Core as well is that it actually gives, like, a second health bar. So I can activate it right now. Um, and it will give like an extra health bar if they were to attack Which is pretty good. I'm actually gonna try and see if I can potentially delay the push over here Oh no, they're all fighting here. Oh no guys, what are we doing over here? What's going on? I'm trying to come in Okay Use my ulti there to try and get in, and it looks like it actually was a good engagement after all. Okay. We got the camp, guys. We got the camp. Let's get out. We actually got the bottom one here as well, which is great, because it's going to give us a couple of shots. Okay. Let's go to the top. 
There we go. So they're actually killing the bottom right now to try and kill this thing, but this is still gonna give a couple of shots off, which is fine for us. We should be able to get both, right? We should be able to get both. Okay, try and get it. You can go off your leash now, Diablo. Go grab the other objective. Very good. And actually, you can see, there we go. There Ragnaros currently has got the objective. Get out! Gonna be able to stay alive for just uh, a little bit here. Should be able to get out. We actually are in a pretty good position. We were behind earlier, but right now this game is starting to be pretty close. All things considered though, I think once I get a little bit more practice in, and I like learn how to time things properly and all that, I'm gonna be in a really good position to like, you know, really enjoy this hero. Because it's already really fun. It's already extremely enjoyable. Mm, I think I'm gonna go ahead and run with the Submerge. It will allow me to go on the ground for a little bit and get some additional health back. It's sort of like a oh shit button now that I've got that I didn't have in the past. Oh god. I didn't even see him. Thank you. Use this ulti on me. Interesting. Okay. Using my ulti now as well on this lane. It's coming in. It's coming in. It's coming in. It's gonna do a lot of damage here. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. It's gonna kill him. It's gonna kill him. It's gonna kill him. He's not seeing it. Did it not? What? Oh, it... Wait, what? How did I... Oh, I died to the opposing enemies. Lava <laughs> wave as well. <laughs> We're both just counting on it doing so much damage. I think I may have very well killed theirs at the same time as he killed me. That would have been pretty insane. So far though, this game is starting to look pretty awesome. It's gonna be a cool hero to play against though, because it's a completely new mechanic, right? Not something we've ever seen before. I think we're looking good. I think we're looking good. We're gonna be able to get an additional four shots off. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Do you think I should go? He's so low in HP, though. Oh, the Joe ulti! Woo! Nice. <laughs> nice! Whew. That was crazy. I could have easily survived, though. All things considered, right? Don't, don't ult. Oh, man. You sure about this, mate? Please don't die, though. But, like, the thing is, right? I could have stayed alive there quite easily. Oh no, guys. Why did we do the bulls? This seemed like such a terrible idea. Did I get it? Not yet. Not yet! Well, I'm here now. We got five hits off, though. And with that, we have eventually obtained. Wait, what? I thought we had it, actually. I thought we actually had it there. Oh no. That's bad. I think one of the hits already came in when I checked out the health pool of the core. That's okay. We just need one more. Just play defensive. We don't need to take any risks. We don't need to take any risks. We just push pressure and eventually secure that final one. I hope it's going to be several activating next. Okay, we don't really need to fight here. I guess we can, though. Oh, no. I hope there would be several at once. No, come on. This is scary, though. Because this is going to be the main fight here. We only need one, right? We don't care about any more, about any of this stuff. Well, here we go. All of us are here. I'll go ahead and use my ulti here. It's gonna come in. There we go. There we go. Here we go! 
I think we got it. I think we got it. Woohoo! And with that... Well, not quite, apparently. They're still gonna be a border to us. As you can see, they're actually gonna be able to hit all the way from right there. But with that, we will be able to capture the final altar and therefore obtain the victory. GG. That was awesome. That was really good. <laughs> now, I'm not gonna lie. I did most definitely play a little bit sloppy throughout all of that, right? But it's such a cool new hero. I think it almost definitely changed up the meta a lot, because if you ignore the, the lava wave, right, if you ignore the molten core, you're just simply gonna end up dying. I mean, it's quite literally that straightforward. It feels a little bit similar to, for example, playing Thrall in the sense that you need to stay in combat and just keep on pressing your Q button in this instance rather than your E and your other abilities, I suppose, uh, if you want to stay alive. But all things considered, an extremely fun hero to play. A uh, very unique concept, and I actually am very happy with the way, you know, it was executed. I was a little worried when they initially announced him, because I wasn't sure what to imagine, but it's a lot of fun. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below, and if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe as well, so you get a notification as soon as I upload more. And while you're at it, go ahead and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Links are in the description. I want to thank you very much so for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile alright, and I will see you in the next one.